Oh, didn't see you there. My name is Brooke Moore, and I'm here to talk to you today about a terrible thing called peer pressure. Around the entire world, including Asia, over 99.9% .9 of teenagers succumb to a thing called peer pressure. Now, is this true? Probably not. But could it be? Yes. Better think about that next time someone tries to peer pressure you into drinking some beer. Do you really want that beer? Think for yourself. You're independent. And your voice counts. So, Olivia, what does peer pressure mean to you? To me, peer pressure is when your peers or the students or your friends, people around you, pressure you and try to get you to do something that's not usually the best thing, like drugs or alcohol. Okay, when you're peer pressured, when you I'm don't... <laughs> okay. When you are, when you which are, I'm sure you do. you say no, um, do you think of the aftermath, like what people would say or... No, because I don't really care what other people think about me. So, um, yeah. Are you confident with yourself? Yeah, I am pretty confident. My decision whether or not I want to do something or not, so... Has it ever, has it ever happened to you before? What did you give into your pressure? Yeah. No. Should <laughs> high school students be drinking alcohol? Um, difficult question to answer that. I think um, sensible drinking of alcohol is not bad. Um, I think when it's peer group pressure and then there's, there's pressure to drink massive amounts of alcohol, as there very often is, that, that's terrible. Um, I think parents can help in this. I think they can uh, help students to drink sensibly, to learn how to drink sensibly. Most people do drink alcohol. Um, I think it's a mistake to drink alcohol on a regular basis um, up to the age of 18 or so because of all of the developmental things that are going on in teenagers, bodies, that kind of thing. Okay, Lena, so if you were peer pressured into alcohol, would you drink it? Personally, I would say no. But most people say yes because they're so pressured into drinking alcohol or taking the drugs that their friends have and they want to fit in so they decide to take it. So, Martha, what are your thoughts on peer pressure? Well, I think that peer pressure is especially a problem in schools because that's where you're surrounded by like all your friends and if they want you to do something that you don't want to do, it's really hard to say no. But basically, you should try to resist peer pressure if it's something that you don't want to do because you need to make up your own mind about things that you want to do and what you don't want to do. And are you peer pressured? I don't believe I am. <laughs> Okay, Marissa, so why is peer pressure good? Oh, it can actually be quite good because, I mean, if all your friends get really good grades, you'll be more motivated to get good grades, I guess, or they're involved in the school community. <laughs> okay, Fabian, so if you were peer pressured to drink alcohol or take drugs, would you or would you not? It depends on the situation. But I guess I would. You would? Why? Uh, because peer pressure can be really harsh sometimes. But sometimes it's a, it's very harmful for your body and it can be against the law. Well, if you're on a party and you want to belong to the group, it's sometimes really hard to resist. So you would? Yeah. Okay. Hey Ty, I just wanted to ask you a question. Yeah. Okay, so if you were peer pressured to drink alcohol or take drugs, would you or would you not? No. No? Why not? Because I feel like I should either do those things on my own. Mm -hmm. Like I would rather make the decision myself than rather have somebody influence me. You are peer pressured to drink alcohol or take drugs. Would you or would you not? I don't think I would. But Why then not? again, I've never been peer pressured into taking drugs or drinking. So therefore I can't really give an honest answer. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. <laughs>